Pisces. How are you, Pisces? Beautiful Pisces. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so I just want to clear the energy through. Okay, Pisces, I have your coffee cup right here. I'm going to pull tarot and oracle for you guys. Also, and I have the messages that I saw in your coffee beforehand. This is really interesting. Okay, a beautiful message. I saw a saucer in your cup. You know, a saucer is, it, it's really talking about the cup of life, the sweetness of life, um, hydrating you here. There's something here about something really amazing. You could be given some sort of a gift, just be feeling really good. There is a sudden little twist in things that ends up being really amazing here. Or there's just a way about you where you're just very grateful for your life and all of this. Then I saw a desert and the desert really represents illusions. And there is something here because you're going into the desert, but before you're drinking from this saucer, from the cup of life, really hydrating you here. So you're able to see through these different illusions here. And this is talking about like a chain of events that is transforming your life here. It's really amazing. I saw you holding two shields here. And you know, there may be a need to hold up shields when you're dealing with a lot of illusions because things can come out of nowhere here. But there is a point here where you're going to be dropping your shields. And these shields morph into this yin-yang symbol. And so this is kind of like the different parts of yourself coming together in a really amazing, really beautiful way. You could be meeting a person that, you know, they end up reaching your heart in this way, in this really beautiful way, because I saw a meeting between you and somebody else. And there's something really important about this meeting that's going to occur, okay? And we'll see more about this here. I saw a teeter-totter, and a teeter-totter, it's like, okay, you know, one person is on top, the other person is, you know, down, and then vice versa, you know, that that's kind of like what it is, you know. So then they saw a bird flying up in the air, which symbolizes hope. So there could be a way in your love life, in a lot of different areas of your life, you had hope that it wouldn't always be this competition, this back and forth, that things would be more steady, that you wouldn't have to have double defenses up, you know, that you could really just be yourself and Find someone that things mesh with really well here. And then I saw a unicycle. Unicycles talk about um, handling the challenges of life, you know, with ease. And this excitement about taking things into your own hands, taking your own control. And yeah, let's see about this now. Okay, so you still have this unicycle here. And then there is this beautiful statue here. So there's a unicycle and then there's this statue here. There's something here that's making more sense to you now. There is a way that you are becoming devoted to something. And this is from your own dedication. This is something that you've already learned about and now there is a way that you can be successful. There is a way that this is something that is going to be forever in your life. And, you know, a statue is a display of something that we're honoring, something that, you know, is beautiful, something that is permanent here. So there's something really beautiful forming in your life at this time that you're doing that is going to stay in your life. This is very beautiful. And here is this meeting here with this person here. So this is very, ex there's a lot of excitement now. Okay, there's all this excitement here. There's butterflies here. You could be very excited about something new that could be blossoming with you and another person here. And this could be something, you know, I see you praying here and your prayer is being answered. This person feels like, you know, you're an answer to their prayers and there's a dragon here. This is the year of the dragon. So you could be a year of the dragon. They could be a year of a dragon, but this is something that's going down this year. Okay. So, wow. Let's see more about this. Okay. 
something about the past and the illusions of the past. You know, you see through the illusions of the past. And so, you know, you could be called to travel somewhere to find something out in this world. And you're going to be surprised because you're going to be finding something within yourself. There could be opportunities here that it's like a challenge or it's something that's a little bit scary here where you really have to strike out on your own but you're going to meet these challenges and you're going to dominate this so this is going to lead to these events that are going to change your life in a really very beautiful way here yeah you have the candle you will be shown the way there is something here that you're praying you could be asking for you know to see the birds is a very good sign because this is um you know a, a symbol of a bird flying is hope it's like an answer to your prayers, you know, and I see you praying here. It's the person that, you know, they're looking up and they're praying here. And they don't see right behind them. There is this beautiful statue. There is this glory that you're going to reach. You don't see it. It's here. It's already here. It's already done. You know, it's just everything is coming into place now. So, you know, to see a bird flying, you have to lift your head. You have to do that part. And even in the cup, your head is lifted. You're looking up. You're praying. You know, you're doing your part. That's what that's telling me. You're doing your part. And spirit wants to show you. Yes, you will be shown the way. A lot of times you can light a candle. You can get messages through this candle. You can light a candle to honor your ancestors, to honor your spirit guides here. Or just you like to light candles here, okay? There is a way that they're going to show you a sign, synchronicity, okay? Give you some sort of a... So you know, you know, which can be flickering with the candle, but it doesn't have to be that. Okay, it can just be another sign. And this could be something that you're doing. Okay, so you have the archway, new opportunities, possibilities, pathways opening up. Yeah. And there's something here about, look at the throne, position of authority. I'm telling you, you're going to be honored. You're going to be honored. You're going to be seen in this way. Look at the beetle, good fortune. Oh, coins, money will be coming to you. Wow. This is remarkable. Changes in your life with the moon. Yeah. Yeah. There are going to be changes in your life here. And this is going to be something that, you know, you've really waited a really long time to have something this beautiful show up in your life. Oh, wow. Okay, let's see about this. You will be shown the way. Okay. Wow. Yeah, you have caution here. So there is something here that you could be really worried about. You're really worried. You have your shields up. You know, it's like, okay, well, I need to protect myself. There's a lot coming at me. There's a lot going on here. There's a way that you're going to see that this is illusions here. Okay. You have practicality. So there is a way that you're going to see that there is a way that you have new opportunities, that you have uh, possibilities and paths opening up for you where it feels like it's kind of chaotic and you don't know what to do and you need to protect yourself but then there is a way that you're gonna see you're gonna see this here and you can see this through grounding a situation okay and this is how some kind of change is gonna come about okay wow you know you have order here, you have empathy, and you have flirtation. There is somebody here that's going to help you drop your defenses. There is a way here that you're going to kind of like get to work on something, that you're going to um, do something that you said you were gonna do here. There is something new that is an opportunity for you and you're going to like make a practical plan of how you can do this dream, how you can move forward on this new opportunity, this possibility, how you can seize this opportunity right in front of you. There is a way that things are going to be put in order for you. You're going to be doing this and you, because of this, you're going to get this up, this um, position of authority here. Okay, you're going to get something really amazing here. And this is causing you to really um, open up and believe that these miracles that you've been hoping and praying for can happen, that this good fortune is going to happen. And there is this person here that is going to show you 
that you know not everybody here is um against you is out to get you and beautiful things can actually happen to you too here you now you have impulsiveness here so there's a little bit of you know being very excited about this and you know you don't want to get too carried away but there is something here where the energy is just right and when it's just right and you feel it you just know you know so let's see more about this A lot of this good fortune is coming because of the empathy that you have had in your life. You know, and different things that you hear that's going on, you know, you don't really get involved in all these different things that you're hearing about, all this kind of stuff. You're kind of just focusing on your own inner order. This can be within yourself, taking this authority in your life to go forward to, to take this um, challenge on, right? And that you're going to be rewarded for doing that. And this is money. And this is also with flirtation with a new opportunity in love. So this is really beautiful. You know, we had a lot of cards that came out. Let's see about this now. Because we have the devil here. Okay, you have the four of pentacles here. Which is like the, the double shields. And you have this Seven of Cups, which is like this illusions in the desert here. There's a decision to be made. And there is something here with the Strength card. You have to be strong moving forward. To face something that maybe it would be very easy for you to not. To not do it. Sometimes not exploring a love situation because you're going to hold yourself back can be toxic and this can be you know what that is talking about this is you giving you could you have this opportunity to give in to your own fears to not move forward to not do it right yeah because you have this um nine of wands here so this is this defensiveness but there is an opportunity to have this inner order within yourself and to realize that you have this authority over your own life. And regardless of what happens, you know, you can handle it. You don't want to not go for an opportunity because you're afraid that it's going to be toxic because it always has been before with this teeter-totter situation here. You know, and then you have the Nine of Cups and you have the Queen of Pentacles here. So this is the situation being very emotionally fulfilling and you realizing that you are secure enough within yourself. You are grounded enough within who you are to get back out there uh, uh, in a situation to let somebody else in uh, to show up for your destiny here with the Wheel of Fortune. I mean, yeah, this is, you know, thriving here. Wow. Ace of Wands, there's a lot of passion between you and a person. There's a lot of chemistry between you and a person. You know, they could be a fixed sign. It could be a Leo, an Aquarius, a Scorpio, or a Taurus. They don't have to be. It could be a Capricorn. Yeah, Capricorn and Leo, you have. There's a little Virgo here, too, from um, the Radiant Sun cards. Okay. Ten of Wands and the Page of Cups. Yeah, you're going to put down this burdens here. And you're going to go forth for this new opportunity in love. And this could be, you know, a secret admirer. This could be something that you love. You're going to be putting more of your energy into what you love. This is you betting on yourself, believing that you yourself, you can do it. And now it's this time of good fortune here. There is a time of good fortune. This is you showing up and saying, yes, I will accept this good fortune. This is justice. You know, you've been deserving of this for a long, long time because within yourself, you made this order within yourself. Within yourself, you healed yourself. You know, there was a time where you had some fear and you were only doing day to day this practical. OK, I'm going to put in this work. I'll get this back and I'll just make ends meet here. And there was something here about some kind of a prayer for more. Right. 
And then the opportunity presenting itself, and I don't know about this. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Is this going to end up like everything else? In business and a passion that you have, um, in love. And this is you saying, you know what, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it because I deserve to be blessed. And you are blessed and you're seeing this now. Some of you didn't think. You didn't think this was ever going to happen for you. You thought that, you know, it, you were always going to be in this situation where, you know, you were barely making it, where you had all of these struggles with the Five of Pentacles really talks about, you know, not having your security and having weaknesses that overwhelm you, right? And having people that rush in and they rush out and they rush in and they rush out, you know? And this is really an ending to this. This is ending with this Ten of Swords. You're saying enough is enough already. You you have already done that, but then now the, the opportunity is coming forward. And it feels like you're going to go for it. And it feels really good here. It feels like amazing. Look at this celebration, I'm telling you. And then you have the King of Pentacles here. So this person is really matching your energy here. This is a person who, you know, they're very sure of themselves. They're very established in their life. This is somebody who's already, you know, established here. They could live somewhere in the world or be from somewhere else in the world than where you are from or where you meet them at. There's this kind of energy. You could meet them at a celebration that you get invited to, or you could hear a really good, exciting news right before you meet this person here. Um... You mean you can meet them through friends, yeah. Wow. What a beautiful reading. Changes in your life, Pisces. It's about time for these changes, for this good fortune in your life. Wow. Let's see if there's any advice. Wow. How beautiful. And you will be shown the way to this. You will be. Trust in that, know in that. You have the Nine of Wands and the Strength card here. It feels like everything has been against you and you're not seeing these opportunities yet here. It's coming. There is going to be a time for you to be seen. It's going to be a time for you to act on the knowledge that you have because there could be something here where you're not being appreciated for all that you do actually know but there is a way that you're going to show there is a right time this is the impulsiveness The right time for you to show. And you're going to know. You're going to be secure with this. Here. Yeah, you've been praying. Your prayers have been heard. And your prayers have been answered. And the answer is yes. And it's more than what you think. Look at the Empress. I'm telling you, this could really be a fixed sign. This could really be a fixed sign. But it doesn't have to be. But there is a huge change here. Huge, huge change. Wow. Okay, Pisces, this is beautiful. This is what I have for you. Okay, I hope this resonated. If it did, please like and subscribe. Okay, I appreciate you so very much. Also, I have a book. It's called One White Rose. And it's fiction. It's about the lives of four different women that come from different places in this world, different times, different place in this universe, even one of them. And they are all standing up for themselves they are all healing their inner child they are all transforming their trauma of abuse into and channeling and transmuting this energy into beauty in their own life for themselves and for for all all the beings that have ever you know existed anywhere this uh really talks about how you know you can tap into this universal energy here 
and all the people before you that have been oppressed and then have tried and tried and they didn't make it, they didn't get out, you know, you healing yourself and you freeing yourself and you being this expression of love in this life, you know, when you're doing that, you're healing all of them. You're all of, all of these souls are celebrating with you, are, are helping you. You're never alone, you know? So that's there for you if you're interested. Okay.